Jet returning for episode 62, I think, 62, 62, and I'm back at the palace where I have been for so long and probably will be for some time yet to come. Now I thought maybe I'd show you the tiny little bit of work I've done, which is very cosmetic, but I started working on this. It's like, okay, the rest of these walls are patterned, why not this one? Why not this, you know, this space for it? So I tried it out a little bit. You can see I did the same on this side. And let me go upstairs. I hope this is smoother for you than it is for me, because I'm experiencing some unpleasantness. Anyways, what it did though is it intruded in this room. Right? Right here. And then unfortunately it also, if I to match it, I do this, which intrudes on that room over there. So let me Go over there. I'm sure this is the most interesting thing in the world. Ow! I like these shaders, but I, I'm... Especially how bright everything is. It's so much easier to see. Um, but there are issues. So here, here, it intrudes right there. What about here? Hmm... I could match it, but then that would might look funny. Oi. I really hope you can't see this. Uh, that right there. Okay, so that's a little strange. And it wouldn't be the same on that side. Hmm. I guess that's not going to work for us right now. Whoops, whoops, whoops. This is where I wanted to be. Look at that. Look at that sunburst. That's awesome. That's gorgeous. The the water, I'm not, you know, the, the blockiness of the water is unfortunate. But it's not that bad. My brother recently made a video of time lapse stuff using shaders as well, and that was really that came out really really well. I think actually I will even uh put that in the show notes for you to watch. I demand it. You must watch it. It is so good. It makes the whole thing feel like the teaser for some MMO. So maybe what I should do is put some shelving in here instead so that that becomes invisible. Because again, that's not going to appear. On that side, it won't be the same. This part's symmetrical, but out here... It's not symmetrical at all. See? It goes over there, and then over here, indent slightly, and you get a whole different style, plus the floors don't match. So, yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with this. I think I might yank this upper structure out, and because I do want it to have like a stairwell, like a ramp that comes from below. And on that note, the one other thing I've done and have not really gone any further with, I've extended these down further. And here, that will proceed into, like, keeps and storage rooms and dungeons and stuff. And then I might open this up and have, like, a little little supply dock, you know, for to bring in food and stuff. Not that the game can actually do that, but... Anyways, one last thing before I cut this off. Uh, didn't I? Yes. Um, I will enchant a thing. Oh no, I used it! Bastard, I'm a bastard. That's my other one that I made. But I have tons of levels. And apparently really loud music. Sorry, I forgot. Every time I go back and forth between this and hardcore and now snapshots which I'm doing I've done two so far um, every time I do that it forgets the settings so let's do this 30 I've never enchanted something this high before and now I'm obviously going to have a terrible item whoa
That is probably the best possible thing it could have been. No, 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 no. Efficiency 5 and Unbreaking 4, right? Verse 3 the highest for Unbreaking. So, that's awesome! Oh my god! That is superior. That is great. And I bet I can't name it either. 35. <laughs> I bet I, I might have been able to do it if I had named it first. Or as I was doing so. Oh well, oh well, who cares? It's a freaking axe! It's a freaking amazing axe. Alright, now I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm gonna go in circles. Circle, 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 circle. Alright, guys, I'm back for a bit. I actually am not sure <laughs> what I'm gonna talk about at the moment. It's just I have an episode coming up on Monday and it's Sunday Saturday and you know, I just I haven't had a chance to do any recording. I've had I have five minutes of content so far. I gotta do something. So I'm down here in the basement, just sort of filling it in. Obviously, well, I don't know about obviously, but there's going to be uh, dungeons, and storage rooms, and things like that down here. Maybe if I get, maybe if I accomplish enough of the rest of the uh, structure, I can go on a little fun binge and. Um, Instead, perhaps build like hidden rooms and things like that down here. Do I have, oh, I'm running low. Running low. Damn it. It's a thought, but I really owe it to you guys to uh, really wrap this up. This whole giant project, <laughs> wrap it up at some point, at least to an acceptable point, and that means finishing the rooms up above and giving it some furnishings. There's a lot to do, still. There's a lot to do. I suppose I should bring a little bit more. Do I need these? I don't think I need those right now. Look at that. Where are you coming from? Hmm? Broken shaders. Shader is good, but it's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. I like um, when the sun's just overhead up here. Yeah, I like that. Look at that. Isn't that nice? keep watching that for a while except I don't want to use up my night vision here I do have to decide about this nub because this has to, has to come down here and be a way up Ooh, night vision's gone oh now I I've been recording 1.7 snapshots uh, videos lately just to be distributed kind of at random whenever I happen to feel like it but I had noticed that I, I made some night visions there as well and they would start blinking like you could see it fading fuzzing in and out before it finally gave away so that's a that's a good feature hmm. I'm not sure I, th I think down here I want it to expose I want to yeah I want how many am I losing off the sides here I want to be able to um, what am I saying I think I'm gonna have a little port down here but I just don't know yet what that is going to look like Oops, well, let's do this much anyways. Take this one back. Put this one in. There, so, be some sort of dock structure. I have a boat already, but it's all the way over there. Isn't this nice? I mean, aside from the fact that you can see square-shaped creases, that's pretty nice. I I've seen better water, but the number of shaders people have developed for the Mac are not... There just aren't as many. And they're not quite as good yet. There's no reason they can't be. It's just the number of people developing for Mac are smaller. The Mac itself is more than capable of handling it. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So that... I'll call that done down there for the moment. Let's go upstairs and... See what there is to see for things to do. Hee <laughs> hee. That's pretty. Pretty. 
You gotta do this stuff up here. I'm a little thrown off that it's at a level with these guys and not these guys. But then again, there's nothing on this side either. This groove in the building also needs something. Maybe giant paintings. I know there's some paintings that are that big, but it'll probably take a while to get them to show up. That or some trees. Maybe handmade trees, frankly. Uh, hmm. Well, let's. All right, let's 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 frig this thing apart. It's been a thorn in my side for a while now. Man, you guys saw that uh, that pick I made in the first segment. I am looking forward to using that. Fortune three. It's so great. But it's not appropriate for use here. Not one bit. Hmm. Oh, good. I am carrying. Okay. So let's yank this junk out. So presumably. Presumably. Also, I could yank this stuff out here. So, the idea then would, I guess, be that there'd be a stairwell here. Ah, there is a bit of lag, isn't there, today? So, uh, unrelated news. It's, is it news? Awkward. Hmm. I've run out of things. Oh, well, I won't worry about it right now. I should experiment with making other types of stuff. I don't really need this right now either. Water, water, water. Why is this in here? Nine. For once, I actually came into the room and remembered why I'd come. Oh, oh, I already made some. Never mind. So, yeah, um... Hmm. Bear with me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I in previous ooh. That's not supposed to be that way. In previous episodes I had indic indicated that um oh come on. There we go indicated that I'd been, I'm been working on side projects all the time, and one of them was this food thing, right? Well, that's coming along. It's actually coming along pretty well. It's... I've been using a Perl framework called Mojolicious, which is quite nice. Uh, it's actually ridiculously easy. Sometimes that scares me, but in this case, it seems to be working out pretty well. The reason I say that, um, having experienced, like, for example, Drupal... Now, this is going to be... See. Drupal being a, a, uh, a PHP edition instead of Perl, is that when it's sort of prefabricated for you like that, I'm not going to reach, I don't think. Let's just find out. Here, 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 here. Hmm. That's actually not bad, except for the fact it has to go through there. But anyways, I'm using Mojula just for now. Oh, jeez. Let me do the same over here. If that's going to be the case, before I fall through again. Boink. Oh, crap. I have to go. Well, no, I don't. Uh... Crap. I've lost my train of thought. How dare you people distract me. Problems. I like I like these stubs, but not enough, I suppose. I mean, you'll be able to see the stubs, so I'll I'll get rid of those. And this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about all the losses. Let's see. If that's the case, I can have more window. 
can have more window. Oh. Not that they see much from here, but still. So what did I just do? I, I'm not sure if I want to go up the sides. I guess I'd better go get some glass. Regard, ignore my thing about frameworks. Just say uh, the food project is making progress. I've got it does simple stuff so far. It reports on ingredients. Uh, it reports on foods. It it is capable of accepting the application of an ingredient to a recipe. Um, I know this is all super basic stuff that other th services do. But the the magic comes in later for another purpose entirely. Um, sort of a crowdsourced algorithmic uh, business. I realize that sounds vague, but I have to be vague to a certain extent. <laughs> Let's see, I could probably... I mean, that does mess with the windows. Hmm. That's not bad. a little weird. A little weird. Let me do this. Mm -hmm. But, there you go. What does that mean, though, for up here? I mean, I still kind of have to have this stuff. Or do I? Do I have to have this? Maybe I could have... I mean, if they're holding things in... where I am. Anyhow, it's coming along, the, the, the food thing. The the pearl is back end. Uh, the back end is pearl. What am I saying? Oh my god. Uh, let's see. Oh, I do have some. Okay, let's try that real briefly. And let's pick up some of this actually as well. And... The front end, I mean, the interface, the API, is going to communicate in JSON, which is pretty standard, pretty well, widely accepted format these days. It's relatively simple. It's lighter weight than uh, XML or SOAP. SOAP is... I haven't even tried to understand SOAP. That stuff, supposedly, is very nasty. XML is nasty enough, uh, it, but, you know, JSON is nice and clean and small. It's quite nice. Sorry if this is not the sort of thing, uh, not the sort of thing you follow, but it's the sort of thing I do for a living, and it has a huge impact on on me and also on the projects I wish to do. Perhaps I should do this. Hmm. I don't know that that produces any purpose. Oh, I thought I did. There we go. Is there any point to doing this? Oh god, I hope this gyrating, this, not gyrating, this all this jittery video is not translating through the recording. Hold on. Possible idea. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have um, sort of like a cover of some Wizard of Oz song, I think. 
going through my head because I saw this Chipotle ad, well, sort of like a video slash ad. It's really fantastic, and it, you know, sort of tells, sort of tells it. What am I even doing? I came out here for a reason. Sorry, I suffer badly from the whole um, frame of you know, the context <laughs> glitch where, you know, as I pass through a door, I forget why I went to the room. Oh, I know. Do I? Yes, I have some. Okay, let's just try something real quick. I wonder about those. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. There's nothing to it. <laughs> Sorry, it really is stuck in my head. It's a fantastic video. In fact, if I can remember, I'll post a link to it in the video notes. That's not horrible. This guy can go up higher now. that in the right place. A little better. A little better. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to record some uh, hard hardcore episodes as well soon. I finally, I had pre-recorded a little bit too far ahead. The last one I pre-recorded went up yesterday, being Friday. And they run Monday through Friday, so I'm going to have to start recording. But I'm trying to get the recording to match, the recording time to match, or get be close to when, I'm, I'm going to do it. Let's see, 1, 2, so that's 16, 4, and I think that's exactly how many I have left in my inventory. Yeah, okay. Sorry, I bet you already know what it is I'm going to do. It'll be kind of overly done, but I mean... It's a grand ballroom of some sort, so I guess there's reason for them to do so. Okay. We need four of these, too. Okay. But yeah, I, I want to have my... my episodes closer to when they actually premiere uh, premiere is probably a bad word but oh god there's five and not well there's five if I don't take this one down let me take this one down I'll just take this construct here all the way down Boink. I realize this is oh come on Jitteriness is driving me up the wall. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully you can't see it. I'm under the impression you can't, but I could be wrong. And I don't want to be wrong about that. I'll have to review this recording later. to find a lot of things to talk about on the hardcore in particular because unlike this I can't do cutscenes I can't leave and then come back and then leave and then come back Ooh, and I have to find my way up there I so it's a little bit tricky in that sense should do. Yep. Oh, come on. There we go. And also, I often have a difficult, I wouldn't say difficult, but you know, a thick work schedule, which sometimes means that, well, in tandem with the occasional meetup and, and developer conference and stuff like that, sometimes mean I cannot record 
the same day. I could never record the same day as I'll probably have to record it late at the early at latest <laughs> one day before the episode airs, uh, which is a better word than premiere. But that will be hard to do in, t- in part because it takes a couple hours sometimes to render and then it takes, you know, a good sometimes 45 minutes hour to upload to YouTube and then in them them takes another good 45 minutes to an hour to, on a good day. <laughs> To process, you know, to reconfigure the file, which I, Kurt, uh, Kurt of Kurt J. McAfee was talking just recently about complaints in that vicinity of topic. Oh, I'm not carrying any with me. Crap. Regarding, um, you know, you go through all the effort of compressing the video so that you have a nice, crisp, but low file size and smooth video. And then you upload to YouTube, and then YouTube reconfigures it, recompiles it into something else. And lately, apparently, that something else hasn't been very good. And it takes a long time, and stuff like that. Let's see. So, I haven't noticed that mine have been particularly bad. Maybe I have a slight. I've come to a combination of codecs that YouTube doesn't have that much difficulty with. Perhaps complete wild guess. Oh, right here. It has to be three in. Did I lose any over the side. Is it only three tall or is it four tall? I'm now I've gone forgotten. Three, okay. Doink, 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 doink. Got to do the same over here, and my pick's gonna die soon. There you go. That's better. Now, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also this weekend should record myself. Actually, no, 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 no. I have, I have also a. Is it an XCOM and a Civilization V, uh, technically Brave New World, ep- uh, series is running. But I'm so over-recorded on those. Literally, they're both extending into October, and right now we've only just begun September. Just to give you an idea. Um, the thing is, those are fun games. I, I, can, I can play them for hours at a stretch, and I can record for hours at a stretch. Are you going to blame me? Are you seriously going to blame me? <laughs> uh, let's see. One, two, three. Might as well take care of that while we're here. Yeah. Plus, actually, XCOM, I think in November, so I don't have to worry about it just yet, but I believe... Oops. Well, let's do this. I believe there's a new expansion coming out, and I might want to record that as well, you know? That's completely natural. So I want to get the first one out of the way. Now, I've come to the conclusion on the first one that I've been sort of drubbing around a little bit too much. It's taking longer than it should. And actually, while I was off on vacation, uh, I played some XCOM. I didn't actually finish it, but I played some XCOM while out on vacation on a harder mode, by the way. And yet, I did a better job. Um, I only have lost one country so far, whereas in most of the rest of my games, uh, or the one we're playing right now, I've got like lost like five, so I'm more than halfway to losing. I won't lose, I don't think, but I'm more than halfway there. And yet on the other one, I've only lost, I think, one country, which is, considering how much more difficult the setting is, I was surprised by that. So that looks alright. That looks alright. Let's do this side. <sighs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just rambling at this point. I hope you don't. You guys don't mind too bad. You know what? I should do something. What is this? This is unbreaking two and efficiency three. What are the odds that I can get an unbreaking two on a different pick? Let's make one real quick. One, two, three, please. If I get, if I, oh, but if I get it, 
I won't be able to apply it because I have so many, so few levels. Let's see. Boink, boink, boink. Okay, very good. Let's see what kind of luck we can get. Oh, crap, I forgot. I can't even get down to level one right now. Let's see what we can do about it. Oops. Stupid. Three, two, let's go for it. Efficiency, ah, crap. That one's already up to three. Oh well. Let's actually put in the wrong place. This is where tools sit. Let's put these guys away so I don't destroy them or lose them if I die. I don't need that right now. Eh. Right, right, right. Hmm, what else is there to talk about? What else? I have good reason to believe that I should probably be brushing up on my JavaScript, so I might be doing that soon. It's something I've used in the past, it's not given me any particular trouble, but it's not something I've focused on either, and I really sh Actually, I can't say that, I mean... I keep saying I really should about all these things, right, okay, but in the end... It's... Ooh, I forgot about those. Um, in the end, I can only do so much. No programmer can know everything. Now, a programmer can revisit. Let me say this. Not revisit, that's the wrong word. Once you were any good at programming, and you don't have to be very good for this to be true, but of course the better you are, the better off you are. Actually, this stuff's getting low. Did I bother bringing another round with me? I did not. I'm going to, I'd better go down before I come back up. Anyways. Once you've got the gist of programming, let's say it that way. Gist. Gist. One or the other. And then you... try to pick up a new language, you've already learned how to program to a certain extent. And so the picking up of a new one is more about dialect, like in learning what the differences are between that language and the other. Now, there are extremities, like, for example, you have high level and lower, lower level and low level programming languages. So at the base, the computer understands the ones and the zeros and embedded in the uh, chipsets are sort of like microprograms that are hardwired to run basically in hardware and so they of course run very relative to other things very efficiently very quickly and then the programs you write the low-level programs using stuff like assembler language or assembly language uh, access those codes, those chipset available codes and whatnot. And uh, forgive me if I'm misdescribing it. I'm not a I'm not a low-level programmer. And you'd you'd think from the sound of that, oh, that's a good thing, right? Well, not not really. Low le the lowest level programs are the most efficient and most powerful programs. Period. Now, assembly assembly language assembler is among the lowest. It's machine code. It's what the, it's what all other programming languages essentially are broken down into. And what is that? That means that's done, right? Um, a lower level language would be something like C, C++, or even... I, I'm not entirely sure if this is accurate to say, but also pr probably Java, though. And then higher level languages are those are compiled languages, let me say it that way. Where, when you write the code, it is comp and then you're done, you compile it into 
machine code. So it gets broken down and refactored and perfected into low language, you know, low level assembly or some potential alternative, you know, machine code. And that's what the computer actually understands. Higher or interpreted languages, the, the sort of highest level ones, are things like Perl, Python, Ruby, JavaScript. I mean, JavaScript even more so than others, because sometimes some of these interpreted languages lie on top of other interpreted languages, which is sometimes... <laughs> sometimes difficult. I'm not sure if that's the right word, but it is certainly true in any case. So I'm I'm a high level guy. I I write in Perl, I write in Python, JavaScript. I can do PHP though I hate to do so. Uh I have been meaning No, I have no interest in Ruby. I mean Perl, Python, PHP and Ruby and even JavaScript can all do essentially the same things. And there some of them are better at one thing or another, but not to a huge degree. You know, they're not you can accomplish like if, if your goal is to make a website, you can use any of those languages to make a highly dynamic, highly successful, powerful, fast website. You can also use those things to make a really terrible, horrible uh, website too. So whoops. How do I manage that? So to, it's not that you use these languages and they automatically work, but I mean, some some of the giants out there like Booking.com or my the you know the agency I work for or like Oracle and Red Hat and all these various places. I mean, they they they're prolific in these high level languages. So it's not that they aren't powerful. It's just because they're interpreted. They're not as powerful, not as fast as the languages that conversely are compiled down into machine language, which is the most powerful option, but almost human unreadable. If you try to do assembly language, your brain will melt, almost certainly, unless you're a genius. And there are those people, unfortunately. <laughs> I say unfortunately, but, you know, I don't know, I don't know. You can ignore me on that one if you want. Oops. Well, I might as well yank this stuff out. Sorry, glass. Now, wait a minute. Didn't I see that these were empty? Yes, okay. Fix those up while I'm here. But anyways, I have used a number of these languages, and I have used Perl and Python the most. JavaScript, I have used when I needed to, and I've been proficient in it, but I'm no master. And I think I should work on that. Hmm... Shall we... S did I cut myself off from the roof? I did, sort of. I have to go back this way. Oh, but... Here we go. Now, I do have to decide upon these roofs. I mean, where do, where do they go? Should I, like, start maybe doing a conical shape, you think? Or is that... That's interesting. Do you see this? A squiggly mess around the moon. Hello, pig. I wonder what would happen if I hit the the boat from here. I probably couldn't. But, oops. See, that's something I have to decide on right there. Hmm. I probably should just extend it out as far as these. Okay, so... Hmm... I have to decide on what's going on up here. I really do. Hmm. But I'm just not sure yet. Well, I've, I've re-ammered enough for the moment. I should compile this out and see how long it was and decide whether or not I need more to the episode. If I don't need more, I'll come back anyways and just, you know, give my thanks and, uh, Wish you, you know, all that junk. So, okay, back later. Okay, and uh, turns out I recorded enough for an episode, so I'm just going to show you what I did while waiting for it to finish, or to save out, so I could tell. I, I closed this off down here. 
put this here just for visual interruption. There was there was like dirt showing up, so I just decided to do that. And I went upstairs. I put in the the ceiling all the way down. I thought maybe it'd be like a apex ceiling, but I wasn't quite sure how to reconcile the fact that there need to be apartments up above and that. So I also neatened up these walls, which does su whoops, suggest that I intend to uh, leave this open for the most part. Uh, it's still not a given, but it feels that way. So let's go on up. Uh, the bottom floor I had some difficulty with because I needed to make sure there was a solid stone along this axis, but unfortunately that intrudes into this room. So then I put it along here. I'm thinking since this goes all the way up, this might be like a... I, uh, ooh, did I f not do this one here? Oh, crap. Um, suggest that will be a fireplace or something, some sort of ventilation. Oh, I could have gone up. And let's go up top real quick. Hmm, you must be seeing this jitteriness. I'm sorry if you do. Keep going. So yeah, here we go. So I, you know, I, I thought I'd experiment with that, but I don't know what I'm doing there. So here you go. This this part is the complication because this arrives right in the middle of what could be a room. So I'm not sure what to do with about that. But this room down here is closed off. And this is all closed off. So I still have to do something about this. I still have to decide how the apartments up here will work. Oh. I'm thinking... I'm thinking... That the apartments... The apartment may extend the length. Which means I might have to decide how this will be split up into rooms. And then if that's the case, maybe these areas would be gardens on either side. I could see that. I could see that happening. In fact... Hmm. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud here. Alright, well, uh, regardless, I thank you guys for coming. Or watching. <laughs> Uh, I hope you'll come again. I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, it turns out, I, you know, me being relatively new to the YouTube scene, it turns out liking or even disliking my video has an impact on how likely it is to show up in other people's searches. So, uh, the, one of the keys apparently to finding a subscriber base is that the subscribers that I already have, the viewers, like the video. So I hope you will. Um, and I hope you'll have a, a good evening wherever you are. So, good night.